I'm so overwhelmed because of the topic. Uh, very briefly, I was shocked when I heard that uh, religion has been blamed to be the source of violence. <clears throat> but I've been uh, studying religion, and I believe that religion bears uh, the message of God. And if God has given us religions, and God is holy and righteous, now what makes religion to be violent? I think the problem is not the religion. It is the religious people. But as we are here, there are people around who are using religion and religious people to make sure that they attain what they want. Because peace and, and love is built, it's a character. Now, I tell you, we cannot achieve the spirit of peace and peaceful existence without building it. There are people who are now building, the, I mean, coming up with a culture of violence. There is a culture of violence wherever you see, you go. And uh, it is now time to involve those people who intuit young people into a culture of violence. Well, I can be blamed, but I say the industry, what's called entertainment industry. There is this called entertainment industry. And when I look to the inter entertainment industry, helping to entertain my heart, myself, I see violence. I see hate. I see revenge. I f see killings. And this is what you call cinema and videos. The Hollywood and the Bollywood, whatever. And these are the people we need to bring on board to tell them, please, don't change the character of, of, of people, and especially young people. They are building the spirit of violence every day through cinemas, through videos. And if we religious people, we don't engage them, whatever we are doing now, we are just talking here. Because they are having all the young people in their palm with their sophisticated items. So every day they teach them how to live. Live or do whatever you want to do. You are self. You don't need somebody else to oversee you. Even your parents, when you are in 15 age, 16, you are, you are, you are, you are independent. So this is the th problem we are s facing. Yes, we have the message to the world. But if we don't engage them, they will, they will engage us and make us victims of what we are doing. So to brief and finish my, my message today, I have some recommendations. Can I have this to you very briefly? Co recommendations. Religious communities should seriously embark on intra-faith dialogue to reduce religious misunderstanding and strengthen understanding from within. Visit our scriptures and tradi traditions to bring the original teaching in today's context to avoid misinterpretation and misin representation of our faiths. Give more attention to the youth and children. Impart in them the right religious teaching that respects humanity, nature, in which uh, to seek to see each other or to welcome each other as human beings. Bring all extreme religious groups, whatever names, Boko Haram, whatever they call themselves, into dialogue so that we can have a mutual understanding exactly and collaboration. Stop the tendency of politicizing religion and spiritualizing politics. To end, engage the entertainment industry to stop films that are violent, injustice, so that the, our young people, they are now morally upright. So I call upon 
my brothers and sisters to work together and to stop uh, mayor talking. Let us go into action. Thank you.